Gul'dan versus Malfurion. These are our heroes for today's match. On the Your bottom, soul shall be mine. Gul'dan the Warlock. Piloted by John Briggs from our quality assurance team. And on the top, Malfurion Stormrage, the Druid. Piloted by Dan Nguyen from our quality assurance team. And they're getting their starting hands ready. Getting ready for the match. And the match has begun! My greetings. Hell yeah! All right, the players are emoting at each other, excited for the game. I greet you. And the Warlock player, each player starts Ready with one mana. Just... You can see that in the bottom right corner for the Warlock and the top right corner near the water wheel for the Druid. And the Warlock uses his one mana to play. A Goldshire Footman is a defensive minion. It's got taunt. That means if the Druid wants to attack, he has to attack the Goldshire Footman first. And the Druid plays a pint-sized summoner and helps him summon Creatures that cost more mana, and that could be a problem if uh, for the warlock, and so he wants to use Chaos Bolt here to get rid of it quickly. He could have used the Chaos Bolt on a demon to infuse it with Chaos Energy and make it stronger, but it looks like he really wanted to get that summoner out of the way. The Druid plays Wild Growth. He gets an extra mana crystal. Now this is interesting. It means that the Druid is probably playing more for a late game strategy. Maybe he's got some stronger minions in his deck that he's gonna play later. He just wants to survive literally in the mid game to, to get to that place where he's built this deck to really take advantage of. So now the Warlock knows that. He's gonna use this time to build his side of the board, get some, get some minions out there. He plays a flesh-eating ghoul, which gets stronger every time a minion dies. I got the best deals anywhere. So now the Druid has a few more mana than the Warlock. He's got five, the Warlock here has four. And the Gadgets on Auctioneer lets him draw a card any time he plays a spell. So he's going to start getting more mana and more cards in his hand. The Warlock plays Sense Demons, which goes through his deck and gets two random minions, two random demons, and puts them into his hand. He drew the Voidwalker here, which is also defensive, a little bit better than the Goldshire Footman, but it's a Warlock-specific card, something only Warlocks can play with. And then he deals some damage straight to that Druid. Now, the Druid would really like to play a spell card here to draw a card, but he's got a lot of things to deal with. He plays Swipe. He deals enough damage to kill the flesh eating ghoul before he can start eating corpses and deals some extra damage to the other minions. Then he uses his hero power to get one attack. His hero power costs two mana and he can use it every turn of the game. He finishes off the last minion with his gadgets on Auctioneer. Oh, the Warlock just drew Lord Jaraxxus. Lord Jaraxxus is very powerful, but he costs nine mana. If he can make it to turn nine, Jaraxxus can turn the game around by himself. If he can make it there. So he's looking at his hand, he's got some demons. Demons are very powerful for their mana cost, but they sometimes hurt you, they sometimes have a drawback. And this one destroys one of your own mana crystals when you play him. So now there's a huge mana discrepancy. The Druid has six mana, and the Warlock has four, as he uses Chaos Bolt to make his fell demon a little stronger. That demon has taunt as well, so he can't attack anybody but that demon right now. He uses another swipe that draws him another card, deals three damage to the, the demon. Now he has four health left, so he can use his gadget, gadgets on Auctioneer to attack, but he might want to save it so he can draw more cards. Looks like he uses it to attack and plays another pint-sized summoner. Now there's a, a, a much bigger mana discrepancy, especially with a pint-sized summoner who makes the minions cheaper for the druid player. So as the Warlock, he's really worried now about seeing some of these huge minions that he thinks are in this deck. And so he uses Drain Life to suck two life out of that pint-sized summoner. He uses his hero power to draw cards. Because you really don't want to let that Druid start playing these huge minions that he may not be ready to deal with yet. Well, the, the Druid has eight mana, so he might start, he has enough to start playing something huge. The druid plays the Beast. The beast is very strong for the mana cost. He has 10 attack. It's a lot of the health. As soon as that warlock gets down to zero health, he's done for. He only has 27 health right now. But the beast has a drawback. Inside the belly of the beast is hidden a gnome, a finkel einhorn. So if you can kill the beast, he'll pop out and join your side. Uh, the warlock plays Scythe and Soul, which just destroys a minion and rescues that gnome. I've been inside that thing for months. Welcome back, Fickle. All right, well, this looks, this looks a little better for the Warlock now. He's got a minion on the table. Uh, he's got some cards. It's about the same number of cards. He still has way less mana than the Druid, though. Oh, the Druid plays Scenarius, who comes with two Triants with Taunt. 
So now the Warlock can't even get it through to attack Cenarius or Mount Furion, even with Finkel. And that's Hellfire, which deals three damage to everything. It clears away those two Treants, but also hurts Finkel and the Warlock. He doesn't really have anything that can go after Mount uh, Cenarius right now, which is troubling. He does play a novice engineer, kind of a weak creature, but it draws him a card. And this is looking a little bit better for the Druid now. He's got a 5-5 uh, Cenarius in play, only against this small novice engineer. They both have about the same number of cards. The Druid still has a lot more mana. He plays Priestess of the Loon, which heals his Druid. And now he's got two, two minions with five attack on the table. He seems to be going after the, the Novice Engineer. The Novice Engineer is not a great minion once it's on the table. He uses Wrath, which gives either three damage or one damage when you draw a card. It looks like he went for the, the one damage to draw a card. He wants to have a lot of cards in his hand. In case the game goes long, he wants to have options and not to run out of steam. All right, well, this, looks, this doesn't look so good for the, the Warlock. He's running a little bit low on health. There's two minions with five attack on that side. So next turn, he'll take 10 damage right there, picking with 12. And he's looking at a Pit Lord. Demons sometimes hurt you, they're very powerful, but this one deals seven damage when it enters the battlefield. So now he's at 15, he's gonna take five more and then five more again the next turn as he plays a flesh-eating ghoul, which again gets stronger every time a minion dies. So it looks like the Warlock, the Warlock could get really low here. It's gonna be down to five, and if the Druid has a Starfire or any card that can deal five damage, I think he's realizing he's maybe made a mistake as he gets very low. The Druid pulls out a Wrath, deals three damage this time. All he needs to do is deal two more damage to the Warlock to win this game, and then we won't even get to Siege or Axis. He plays Nourish to draw some more cards. If any of these cards deals damage, he might be over. He, plays, he uses his Hero Power to deal one more damage. Now the Warlock's at one health, and he doesn't have it. Well, that's great for the Warlock, because now he can play Lord Jaraxxus. He's got some minions on the board. Let's see what happens here. You face Jaraxxus! Lord of the Burning Legion! kills the Warlock who summons him and takes his place. And then the ghoul gets a little stronger for eating the corpse of your old hero. Jaraxxus is very strong. He comes, he's got a new set of, uh, of health. Now he's at 15 health. He can attack. He's got a new hero power as the ghoul keeps getting a little stronger now. This ghoul fared a little better than the last one. Well, this is, this is much better for the Warlock. He's got way less cards, uh, but he's got some minions on the battlefield. He's got Jaraxxus. The Druid plays Ragnaros the Fire Lord. Ragnaros can't attack normally, but at the end of his turn, he deals eight damage randomly to just something on the other side of the board. Oh, and he hits the Pit Lord. Well, the Ghoul gets a little stronger, at least. Now, the big problem for the Druid right now is, is Jaraxxus' hero power. Every turn of the game, you can use that hero power to summon a 6-6 Infernal. So it, that could get out of control quickly. The Druid has more cards here, as he plays the Succubus, which the, costs him to discard his Doom Guard. That's unfortunate for, the, for Jaraxxus. He uses that hero power. And I don't think he's really got a way to kill uh, Ragnaros unless he uses his Ghoul and his Soul Fire to deal 4 damage to him. Looks like instead he keeps the pressure on. He's got the Druid pretty low. He's at 12 health right now. And he uses the Soul Fire on Ragnaros, not killing it. So Ragnaros will get to strike again. Both players are getting a little bit low. They're at 12 health in the top and 14 health in the bottom. And the Druid plays Baron Get, a good friend of Ragnaros, actually. And he healing ducks himself to stay out of range. Now both Baron Geddon and Ragnaros will strike, dealing tons of damage to the opposing side. The Jaraxxus is at four health right now. So if the Druid can draw just a Wrath, maybe if he hadn't used the Wrath on that Gnome earlier in the game, he might have won this game. Jaraxxus feels it's time to get rid of the, the Ragnaros. The Ghoul's getting a little... He's only got one health left, but now he's got 10 attack after eating all those corpses. We see more Infernals. That's really going to get out of control. The Druid has a lot of cards, though, as it gets to 8 health, 5 health now. Jaraxxus is still only in 4 health. The Druid just needs to draw one card that deals 3 damage and then uses Hero Power for the last damage. Another swipe, maybe. That Ghoul now has 10 attack and only 1 health. Another Healing Touch. This Druid is trying to stay alive just long enough to draw something to deal just a couple of damage to Jaraxxus. Here we have the Ancient of Lore. When you play the Ancient of Lore, you can choose to draw two cards or to restore eight health. So he could have played that first, tried to draw a card to deal some damage to Jaraxxus, but he wanted to play it safe and need some health. 
as he kills the Ancient of Lord with that Infernal. The Ghoul getting a little bit stronger still. He, the Warlock turns Twisting Nether, which kills all minions, but he's got all the minions. So not a great draw for the Warlock. Now, the Druid, again, is 6 health. If that card deals any amount of damage to the Draxus, this could be over. I am the Blade of the Gods. Priest of Loon healing some more, and then he's using his hero power. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna sacrifice himself just to kill the flesh eating ghoul. He's not going out like that. And that's it. Jaraxxus has won!